Next, we will crochet round 121. In round 121, we will work in groups of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet increase stitch, and one single crochet stitch, making a total of six groups. By the end of this round, there will be a total of 24 stitches. Let me show you how it's done. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet one single crochet stitch. One single crochet increase stitch. And another single crochet stitch. I will demonstrate one more group for you. Please crochet the remaining four groups on your own. After that, remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this round is finished. Now, let's move on to rounds 122 to 127. For these rounds, we will crochet 24 single crochet stitches with no increases or decreases, ending each round with a total of 24 stitches. I will show you how to start. First, make a chain stitch, crochet one single crochet stitch. And then another. Please continue crocheting until you finish round 127. After completing these rounds, remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and these rounds are concluded. Next, we will crochet round 128. In round 128, we will work in groups of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet decrease stitch, and one single crochet stitch, making a total of six groups. By the end of this round, there will be a total of 18 stitches. Let me demonstrate. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet one single crochet stitch. One single crochet decrease stitch. And another single crochet stitch. I will show you one more group. Please complete the remaining four groups on your own. After that, remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this round is finished. Now, let's crochet round 129. In this round, we will work in groups of one single crochet stitch and one single crochet decrease stitch, making a total of six groups. By the end of this round, there will be a total of 12 stitches. Let me show you how it's done. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet one single crochet stitch, followed by a single crochet decrease stitch. I will demonstrate one more group for you. Please complete the remaining four groups on your own. 
After that, remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this round is finished. Moving on to round 130, in this round we are working 6 single crochet decrease stitches, ending with a total of 6 stitches. I will demonstrate this for you. First, make a chain stitch, crochet a single crochet decrease stitch. And then another. Please complete them on your own. After finishing, remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this round is concluded. Now we are moving on to round 131, which consists of six single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases. The round ends with a total of six stitches. I will now show you how to do it. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet one single crochet stitch. Two. and please complete the rest on your own. After that, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. With that, we have finished this round. In round 132, we will be making six single crochet increase stitches, ending with a total of 12 stitches. Please watch as I demonstrate. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet a single crochet increase stitch. I will show you one set. And please complete the remaining four sets on your own. Once you've finished crocheting, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. That concludes this round. Moving on to round 133. This round consists of a set of one single crochet stitch and one single crochet increase stitch, repeated for a total of six times. The round ends with 18 stitches in total. I will now show you how to do it. Start with a chain stitch, crochet one single crochet stitch, and then make a single crochet increase stitch. I will demonstrate one set for you. And please complete the remaining four sets on your own. Afterwards, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. This brings us to the end of this round. Next is round 134. In this round, we will be working in sets of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet increase stitch, and another single crochet stitch. Repeat this set six times to complete the round, ending with a total of 24 stitches. Let me show you how it's done. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Make a single crochet increase stitch. And then crochet another single crochet stitch. I will demonstrate one set.
and please complete the remaining four sets on your own. After that, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. This concludes round 134. Lastly, we will be working on rounds 135 to 142. These rounds consist of 24 single crochet stitches each, without any increases or decreases, ending each round with 24 stitches. I will now show you how to do it. Start with a chain stitch, crochet one single crochet stitch. Two. And please continue crocheting until you reach round 142. Once you're done, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. With that, we have finished this section. Next, we'll work on round 143. This round consists of sets of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet decrease stitch, and another single crochet stitch. We'll repeat this set six times, ending the round with a total of 18 stitches. Let me show you how to do it. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. Make a single crochet decrease stitch. and then crochet another single crochet stitch. I will demonstrate one set. And please complete the remaining four sets on your own. Afterwards, Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. This concludes round 143. Moving on to round 144, this round consists of sets of one single crochet stitch and one single crochet decrease stitch, repeated six times, ending with 12 stitches in total. Please watch as I demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch. and then make a single crochet decrease stitch. I will show one set. and you will need to complete the remaining four sets on your own. Once you've finished, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. This brings us to the end of round 144. Next, we will crochet round 145, which consists of six single crochet decrease stitches, ending with a total of six stitches. Let me show you how to do it. Start with a chain stitch. Make a single crochet decrease stitch. and then another. Please complete the rest using the same crochet method on your own. After that, remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. This concludes round 145. 